Hello and welcome back to the S9 of Otaku channel. Here I am back again with another video. Today's video we are going to be unboxing this Yamato Raimei Hake Thunderclap Attacks Figure Art Zero from the company Bandai Spirits. So for those not in the know, Yamato is from a little anime called One Piece. So I love Yamato as a character and I'm kind of rooting for her to be a straw hat one day, fingers crossed. That being said, so far I've actually unboxed several figure arts zero figures in this channel. Namely the Giyu and then the Rengoku Hashira figures from Demon Slayer. Uh, do check them out if you have a moment. I did love filming those videos. Honestly, I love these line of figures a lot because not only they don't break the bank too much, they're also really high quality. So expect more Figure Art Zero unboxings in the near future. So I got this figure for around $70. So it's not too crazy expensive. Uh, so I sort of consider it in the mid tier in terms of price. Also, this is actually still available. Uh, I'll leave a link on where you can buy it below the like button if you're interested. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this figure. Okay, started off here. It's got the one tape. So the box right of the way. So it looks like it's just gonna be one figure and just the base. That's about it, nothing more. Um, let's just get her out of the packaging here. So it looks like it's just gonna be one figure overall. So let's just get her out of the packaging. Just there's just these plastic wrappers. Okay, so this is the Figure Art Zero Yamato figure from the anime One Piece. Okay, just so starting off with the face, I think it's really good, EVA. I personally dislike open mouth faces, but I'd make an exception here because I think they did a phenomenal job. So the figure is approximately 6.3 inches, around 16 centimeters in height. Figure Art Zeros are not typically tall figures, but that's what makes them great. They're very easy to store in shelves. It has this sort of fixed pose the base is phenomenal it's not just your regular base as well there's this sort of cloud fixture that is on the on the base that makes it more realistic uh, i like this little little uh, portion where there's like a picture of her uh right here it's really well done this is a i love this extra piece that they've added just to make this more and then it has her name on there which is great as well if you look at the base you have like a yamato uh sort of picture on there which is fantastic the quality is even much better um, and the color does this ground just sort of coming up color accuracy is phenomenal if you kind of like look at her clothing here you just have to admire how much sculpting went with this figure because you could actually see the, the finer details from her slippers to her uh, out attire it's wonderfully done the color of her hair, phenomenally colored. I, I can't seem to, you can actually see the gradients of green and blue, like just on top of her hair, which is fantastic. There's a side boob. Uh, and yeah, the quality of this is just overall fantastic. You could even see this, uh, her thunder energy kind of like emanating from the figure which is amazing. The horns is actually well done as well. The colors, the, the gradient, the color of red, orange gradient is there. Very, very considerate of the, the sculptors to actually carefully craft that portion as well. And uh, the entire ensemble is superb. There's just not much more we could say about that. So just some closing thoughts on the figure. I have a love-love relationship with, fig uh, with figure art zeros. So I'll give this around a 4.8. Reason for that, number one, is the price. It's not too expensive. Uh, second, the overall quality of this thing is just simply superb. Very elegant sculpting. And finally, the aesthetics. The aesthetics is what makes Figure Arts Zero sort of stand out. You get this thunder rays sort of coming out. Yeah, overall, 
I really like this figure. 4.9. Anyways, so what do you think about this figure? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or dislike, whichever, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.